Hello students, this video for those students who do not understand Hindi, I am going to provide the MCQ solutions of CA Intermediate Advanced Accounts Examination for January 25 attempt. So let's start without wasting a microsecond. First of all, there is a case study from Accounting Standard 22 whose values are given and the answer would be as follows. Number 1, what would be the value of deferred tax liability on 31st March 24? The correct answer would be 3,30,000. The opening balance of 2,10,000 plus 1,20,000. Sir, what is this 1,20,000? The difference of depreciation. 18 lakh minus 12 lakh 6 lakh into tax rate 20 percent 1 lakh 20 thousand next what would be the value of reversal of deferred tax asset? How much deferred tax asset would be reversed? Remember, employer contribution disallowed in previous year, allowed in current year. This language was written in the question. Yes, the amount was 82,000 multiplied by the tax rate of 20%. Your answer would be 16400. What is permanent difference as per AS22? Donation. What would be the value of the deferred tax asset as on 31st March 24, 123600? If you have any queries, just tell me in the comment section. Also, subscribe the channel as well so that I can make more videos in English particularly. The next is Ace Limited Borrow 25 lakh blah 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 there is so much uh, stuff there. The correct answer would be C. Ace Limited has invested in equity shares which is not a qualifying asset therefore directors are wrong. The correct answer would be C. Then there is a case study from accounting standard number 7. So many students would have made mistake of doing the proportionate of calculating the proportionate profit or loss. No, the question was asking what will be the profit loss on the contract total in total you have to calculate. So take the total revenue that is 350 lakh deduct total cost from it and you will get your answer. The total cost would come out to be 355 lakh. So the correct answer would be 350 revenue minus 355 cost loss on contract 5 lakh that is A. Sir, how how you calculated this total cost of 355 lakh? Calculate with me. Material purchase 125 plus labor 95 minus unused material 22 plus 115 estimated future cost plus machineries proportionate depreciation. 210 divided by 20 multiplied by 4. Okay. Okay. Next is cash flow statement. Very easy. As I said so many times, the institute is asking cash flow statement question only in the MCQ form and this is a lollipop question. Remember, this is a lollipop question. Okay. The correct answers would be cash flow from investing activity 54300, cash flow from financing activity negative 160600, uh, which of the following item would be under investing activities, purchase of goodwill, cash flow from operating activities 154500. 11th question, loan, uh, loan taken 5 lakh rupees in June 23, repayable in 10 equal installments, one installment would come down to be 50,000 and yearly 2, so 1 lakh. Okay, so first installment is paid in December 23. 5 lakh minus 50,000 at December 23, the outstanding loan amount would come to be 4 lakh 50,000. And next installment would be pay paid in June 24. Between, between December 23 and June 24, there would be a date 31st March on which balance sheet will be prepared. In such a balance sheet, how much the outstanding loan in total would be 4 lakh 50 thousand and the answer would be out of that 4 lakh 50 thousand 3 lakh 50 thousand is to be shown under long term borrowing and 1 lakh is to be shown under short term borrowing because in the coming year in the coming 12 months you are going to pay 2 times 50 thousand installment 50 thousand into 2 1 lakh would be short term borrowings. Next is accounting standard 12 plus accounting standard 28 mixed case study a very beautiful question let me discuss the answers with you. First of all, amount of depression for 22 would be 487,500. Sir, how did you calculate this? Very simple. You purchased a machinery for 50 lakh, deduct grant received 15 lakh. So the value is 35 lakh. Okay, uh, deduct scrap value from it 5 lakh, 30 lakh, divide by 10, the life, 1 year depreciation is 3 lakh. Char depreciation for 2 years, 6 lakh. 35 minus 6 lakh, value, carrying amount. What would be the carrying amount? 29 lakh. So first of all, Get the answer of this. 15th question, what would be the carrying amount of machine on 31st March 21 after charging deption? 29 lakh. Thereafter, thereafter, how much would be the depreciation for 31st March 22? That is year 21-22's depreciation would be what? Uh, on 1st April 21, what was your carrying amount? 29 lakh. So you have to deduct the depreciation for 21-22 from 29 lakh and you will get your answer. Uh, you'll, you'll, uh, you have to calculate the depreciation for 21, 22, right. How would you calculate? On the 29 lakh, same 3 lakh, same 3 lakh, uh, same as you are already calculating. Plus on 1st April 21, you had a refund of, refund of grant of 15 lakh. Such 15 lakh would be a portion to remaining life of 8 years, 15 lakh divided by 8, 187,500. So 3 lakh on 29 lakh, 
प्लस वन एटी सेवन फाइव हंड्रेड फोर एटी सेवन फाइव हंड्रेड सर वाई सेम थ्री लैक बिकॉज स्ट्रेट लाइन मेथड इज बींग फॉलोड द आंसर फॉर थर्टीन वुड बी सी इम्पेयरमेंट लॉस ऑफ सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव टू बी डेबिटेड टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट एंड द आंसर ऑफ फोर्टीन वुड बी आयदर लॉस ऑफ वन लैक और लॉस ऑफ थ्री लैक आयदर बी और डी If there is an update on the, the correct solution of this from the institute site, ICI site, I'll definitely let you know in the comment section. Stay tuned, sir. Why there is confusion on this point? Because the question said that we have exchanged the machinery uh, at that uh, one year before the exchange. Our recoverable amount was twenty eight lakh, and we wrote down our cost to recoverable amount in accordance with accounting standard twenty eight. The twenty eight lakh. Was then divided by four the remaining useful life and the next year depreciation was after impairment seven lakh twenty eight minus seven lakh the value of the PP was twenty one lakh and you exchange this twenty one lakh machinery and in exchange you had another machinery and the question said the value of the new machinery is eighteen lakh so if you go machinery to machinery twenty lakh machinery given eighteen lakh machinery received three lakh loss three lakh loss then then answer would be D but question said paying cash. That you also paid. The question is saying that you also paid two lakh cash. So the total loss would be five lakh, and there is no option of five lakh. Instead, maybe the question wanted to say receiving cash of two lakh. In such a scenario, the correct answer would be loss of rupees one lakh. So we do not know what I say is going to do, but we'll definitely let you know if there is an update in the comment section. Stay tuned. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. More chances. loss of 3 lakh those students who have uh, corrected uh, loss of 3 lakh who have tick mark the loss of 3 lakh the option number d will get full marks thank you stay tuned